So this is the Japanese tobacco that I made by myself at home. Look at this. This is so beautiful. And it smells sweet. It's really nice. Anyway, you can make this Japanese tobacco at home also. It's really easy and you don't need a lot of equipment to do it. First, you will need perfectly cured tobacco. Then spray the tobacco with little mist of water like this. Just make sure that you don't spray it too much until it become wet. Just spray it little until it become moist. After that, put the tobacco in the plastic like this and close it tightly using ropes or maybe you can use a rubber band. Anyway, if you have glass jar, you can use glass jar also. I'm using plastic because this is so easy. You just have to put it in there and yeah, done. The last step is put the tobacco under the sun for about 2 weeks. The heat from the sun and the moisture from the plastic bag will allow the tobacco to ferment. If you do it correctly, the tobacco will become black and it will smell really sweet. And every 2 days or 3 days, you have to flip the tobacco like this so all of the tobacco will ferment perfectly. Anyway, there are some methods that you can use to make a cap in this tobacco but this one is the most easy rather than to use steam and barrel you just need plastic bag, right? And the result is incredible because this is a natural way we use a sun instead of steam or open so the fermentation occurs slowly and it will enhance the taste of the tobacco itself Let's enjoy the Cavendish tobacco then. Separate the lips from the stem. Cut the tobacco. Anyway, you have to dry the tobacco first before you can smoke it. Perfect. Then put the tobacco in the bowl. Light it up and enjoy your time. Ah, awesome. <laughs>